all right what's going on guys t torres <clears throat> back here for another video so in today's video we are going to be going over the thousand mile review on my honda trans Alp. as you can see i got a little over a thousand i got about 1300 1300 good miles so let's go ahead get this thing traction control off whoops and abs off hold this to the left why is it not letting me switch there we go hold that traction control is off abs abs off yes okay everything's off let's head on down the road i haven't really had much time to ride here uh the weather the weather in florida has been a little little crappy it's a decent day out today but it is still still a little windy but good riding weather is is up is up on the forecast so if you're new here this is my 2024 uh, honda trans xl 750 i absolutely love this bike um if you're interested in all the other stuff that i have done to the bike there's a playlist uh there's a playlist on my channel that has everything uh that i have done to the motorcycle thus far the only thing we're missing is the heated hand grips and me along with every other trans Alp rider has no idea uh when we're going to be getting our heated hand grips it, it changes it changes monthly it changes daily there's no telling so with that being said um, like i said i've got a little over a thousand miles of seat time 1300 miles of seat time uh countless uh trips maybe four or five actual off-road trips um but I, I absolutely love this bike i've ridden uh the bmw gs's i've ridden the the ktm um adventures my buddy's got the 800 ibex i haven't ridden it off-road yet but i was really in between uh the honda trans Alp and the you know the honda africa twin 1100 now they just released a new one uh not really sure what's new on it or what's refreshed on it but this is my uh, this is my go-to i think dry weight was around 400 and no maybe wet i think maybe wet was right around about 450 pounds and you know i have a have a facebook group um if you guys are interested in joining that we have just about just about 3,000 members uh as well a lot of good topics and conversations are covered on uh, that page uh, daily. I'm actually in the market of looking to get some uh, those the Moto uh, GPS tires. Comment down below if you changed your tires. What tires did you get, and did you go tubeless? Um, so with that being said, I had my shifter on. Was, I think it was a soft setting uh, for the quick shifter up and down was in the soft setting, and sometimes I don't know if it was just me or. I don't know it, the, the transmission just felt weird like it didn't want to go into gear or it would show no gear it would just show like dash dash and in order to and i don't know if it's in the manual or not but me personally i don't use the quick shifter until 4,000 rpms uh and above so let me know if you guys have had any kind of weird transmission issues uh like i've had i wouldn't say they're real issues it may have just been rider air and and personally you know not not the bike itself other than that um transmission has been great and reliable the only thing that i wish and i'm currently working with a um a big name in the tuning industry hopefully here in the future um with getting getting some baseline maps written uh for this bike the only the only thing i feel like this thing lacks is well obviously one power and two i just don't feel like the torque's there even if you're up in the four grand four and a half maybe five thousand rpm range and you know and you even just punch it or you give the bike a little bit of throttle obviously not off-road but i just feel like the bike lacks some of that get up where other bikes uh would excel and you know I, all i have is just i wouldn't even call it a performance mod all i have is the uh 
the baffle taken out of the stock muffler i did have the sc project explorer 2 exhaust which is still for sale if you're interested in that i think i paid like 800 bucks shipped to the house so if you're interested i want it out of my garage 560 bucks and it's yours it just it, it doesn't work with my sw motec uh softback so i need that out of my garage and i've got the oem honda handguard as well we'll do 110 bucks shipped get it out of my attic and get some space up now as far as seat time I think the longest that I've ridden in one length of time was probably about three hours and I had no I had no problems at all I didn't feel like you know my butt was like super raw or it was just like yeah I think the seat is actually pretty comfortable uh, for the factory and you know me being a little bit taller you know being six foot six foot one uh, I can flat foot this bike all day worse if you're a little bit shorter you might want to get you a, a little bit bigger than like a, a one inch hill uh, for your boot so this the seat seems to be super comfortable we're going to be going to uh, we're going to take a, a trip to Biloxi Mississippi on our first camping trip so once again we'll see how see how the bike does on a long road trip as far as the seat goes I love the self canceling turn signals um, I hate that you know you spend almost you know 11 5 12 grand a little over 12 grand and we don't get cruise control so I have the atlas lock now there's a company out there I don't know the name but they talk about it on the Facebook my Facebook page for the trans up all the time that's gonna allow you to have electronic cruise control I just cannot believe they didn't give us that I guess in order to cut costs uh, cruise control was one of those that we weren't gonna get but you know we still have ABS and traction control which is a huge thing and actually on long road trips I found myself even though I have the Atlas throttle lock I found myself actually not really using it that much so I should probably use it more um, visibility uh, driving at night I do like the the factory headlight and high beam the the output to me is great but it gets even better when you add a set of fog lights whether it's the oem uh honda fog lights or for me i have the sw motec uh fog lights absolutely love them if you're interested in that video it's also in the honda trans Alp playlist as well um and then i think you know for as far as off-road and adventure riding these bark busters are a must the oem honda ones if that's what you want go get them uh, to me this having this reinforced bar here so if and when and hopefully not ever but the bike does go down you know for a fact that your handlebars in your clutch and brake lever um, is safe as far as, as fuel economy goes you know the gaso meter on my bike says I get about 46 47 miles per gallon depending on how you are on and off the throttle it's easy to get uh <laughs> to get sideways when you got traction control and the abs off oh we're going to be taking another long trip to hopefully to to birmingham to uh, barber small bore on these big bikes hopefully we can make that happen but if you're on the fence, you know, between the Honda Trans Alp, the uh, Suzuki DRZ, uh, the Kawasaki KLR, if you have a friend that has a Trans Alp, I, I highly recommend getting on it and trying it. Like I said, I've ridden the Africa Twin, I've ridden the KTM 1290 Adventure, the 890 Adventure, the GS. Um, 1250 adventure and I may be a little biased here because I already own the Honda but this is it for me I absolutely um, love this bike going down the highway um, you know at about 70 miles an hour 75 miles an hour don't know what the hell these actually do but I got them the tall windscreen um, is definitely a must I'm not really sure how much buffeting this thing does but actually getting beat up by the wind uh doesn't really occur to me till like 80 maybe like 85 miles an hour plus so hopefully here soon we'll get some new tires and i just wanted to give you guys just a brief little overview of my experience for the last thousand miles with this bike it has been been nothing but great i can't wait to actually take it um off-roading i wish i was going to some more march moto madness but i just don't think i'm <laughs> physically ready yet with my riding 
capability yet. So I'm thinking about taking that uh, off-road, I think it's advanced riders course at BMW in North or South Carolina. But if you're a TransUp owner, comment down below and let me know how your experience has been uh, with your bike. I absolutely love mine. And like I mentioned, if you want to join the Honda, my Honda TransUp Facebook group, link will be down in the description. Uh, if you're new here and have any questions, leave a comment down below. Please hit that subscribe button. Leave this video a big thumbs up. Turn on your post notifications. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.